Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss about first order autonomous ordinary differential equation. Here, we have considered first order differential equation. We call this autonomous differential equation because this f is a function of y only. Okay. So, autonomous differential equation simply means if y is my dependent variable x is independent variable then derivative of y with respect to x should not depend explicitly on x okay it should be a function of y only okay now we have considered this first order autonomous differential equation as you can see this is in variable separable form so we can write this like this okay if we need to find its solution then what we need to do we have to integrate both of the sides and we will get this where c is constant of integration okay and this will be my general solution of this ODE okay so general solution of this ODE is this now we will study about equilibrium solutions equilibrium solution is a solution which is an equilibrium state that is a solution which does not change so if y is an equilibrium solution then derivative of y with respect to x that is change in y with respect to x is 0 right so if dy over dx is 0 then fy is 0 because this is an autonomous ODE and this is what we have considered right so dy over dx is 0 this implies fy is equal to 0 so if we need to find equilibrium solution then we need to find root of this equation which equation fy is equal to 0 ok now we have taken first order autonomous ODE with an initial condition that is at x0 at x0 value of y is y0 ok as there is a condition with this ODE so we will get a particular solution of this initial value problem and our main goal is to study the behavior of this particular solution because in almost all competitive exams of higher mathematics that is IT jam, TIFR, NET, GATE we get these kind of questions on boundedness or unboundedness of this solution or uh, limit of the solution when x is approaching to its infinity or minus infinity okay so we will learn about some results and then we will discuss some problems also of previous year questions okay so first result is if f of y naught this y naught is this okay so if i plug this y naught in this f and this turns out to be zero this f of y naught is equal to zero what this means this simply means that y is equal to y naught is an equilibrium solution right because at y naught f is zero okay so if f of y naught is equal to zero then if x is approaching towards infinity my solution y x will approach to its y naught and if x is approaching to its minus infinity then my solution y x will approach to its y naught only okay why is this this is very simple to see okay see y is equal to y naught assume my y is equal to y naught is this okay my y is equal to y naught is this and at x naught value of y is y naught this is given okay so at x naught at any point x naught say this 
वैल्यू ऑफ माई वाई इज वाई नॉट दैट मीन्स एट सम पॉइंट माई सोल्यूशन इज इन इक्वलिब्रियम स्टेट एंड इक्वलिब्रियम स्टेट सिंपली मीन्स सोल्यूशन विल नॉट चेंज इट स्टेट ओके इट विल रिमेन इन दिस सिचुएशन सो ऑब्वियसली वट एवर द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स विल बी इवन इफ इट इज अप्रोचिंग टू एस इन्फिनिटी और माइनस इन्फिनिटी इट विल स्टिल बी वाई नॉट बिकॉज दिस इज एन इक्वलिब्रियम सोल्यूशन ओके अज्यूम एफ इज एन एट डिग्री पॉलिनोमियल ओके सो एफ विल हैव एन रूट्स आई एम अज्यूमिंग एन रूट्स ऑफ एफ आर सी वन सी टू अप टू सी एन हेंस एफ ऑफ सी वन एफ ऑफ सी टू अप टू एफ ऑफ सी एन विल बी जीरो बिकॉज दीज आर रूट्स ऑफ एफ एंड एज ऑल दिस सी आईज आर सेटिस्फाइंग एफ हेंस दिस सी आईज आर इक्विलिब्रियम सोल्यूशंस नाउ वाई नॉट वट इज वाई नॉट दैट वाई वैल्यू ऑफ वाई एट एक्स नॉट इज इक्वल टू वाई नॉट ओके सो दिस वाई नॉट इफ वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वाई नॉट इज इन बिटवीन टू इक्विब्रियम सोल्यूशंस बिटवीन टू सी आईज मीन्स इन बिटवीन टू इक्विब्रियम सोल्यूशंस देन माई सोल्यूशन वाई एक्स इज बाउंडेड दिस इज नॉट वेरी हार्ड टू सी से वाई इज इक्वल टू सी आई इज दिस एंड दिस इज वाई इज इक्वल टू सी जे एट सम पॉइंट एक्स नॉट वैल्यू ऑफ माई वाई इज वाई नॉट सो दिस इज पॉइंट एक्स नॉट वाई नॉट ओके एज वी कैन सी दिस पॉइंट इज इन बिटवीन टू इक्विब्रियम सोल्यूशंस मीन्स वैल्यू ऑफ वाई एट एक्स नॉट is in between two equilibrium solutions right now whatever the value of yx is if once it is in between these two equilibrium solutions it will not cross this right hence value of yx is bounded and it is bounded between these two values these two solutions okay next we can find limit of yx as x is approaching to its infinity with the help of sin of fy okay we will understand this property while doing questions so let's start doing questions okay first we will discuss jam 2017 question it is msq msq means multiple select questions uh, there can be more than one answers for this question okay let yx be the solution of differential equation this satisfying the condition y0 is equal to 2 then which of the following is or are true the function yx is not bounded above function yx is bounded and they are asking about the limits now as we can see see we only need to tell about the behavior of of the solution okay behavior of yx as we can see this is an autonomous equation so very first thing which we should do is to find its equilibrium solutions let's find that so y is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 are equilibrium solutions let me plot this this is y is equal to 1 this is y is equal to 3 now the condition which we are given is at x is equal to 0 value of y is 2 at x is equal to 0 value of y is 2 okay this means we have just studied about this if value of y for some x is in between two equilibrium solutions between two equilibrium solutions then my solution yx is bounded and it will be bounded between those two equilibrium solutions right so here my yx will be bounded and it is bounded between 1 and 3 hence option was uh, option 1 is incorrect and option 2 is correct okay 
now we need to check limits in order to find limits we need to check the behavior of this see dy over dx is equal to y minus 1 into y minus 3 and as we know value of y can be in between 1 and 3 okay it is bounded between this okay so in between if y belongs to 1 and 3 this means y is greater than 1 and less than 3 so if y is greater than 1 hence this is positive and because y is less than 3 this is negative right so dy over dx is negative hence my function y is decreasing with respect to x okay this is my first derivative test so my uh, function y is decreasing with respect to x okay so as we are given that let me erase this as we are given that at x is equal to 0 value of y is 2 and we have just studied that my function y is decreasing so if this is decreasing it will be something like this okay but it cannot cross this equilibrium solution right because this is equilibrium state my y cannot cross it hence it is decreasing like this and it will cross this point so if and as we know this is decreasing over 1 and 3 over the whole interval okay so it will be decreasing from back side also from this two so it will behave like this but it will not cross this y is equal to 3 because this is equilibrium solution again okay so we can say that when x is increasing like this when x is approaching to its infinity my value of y is approaching to its 1 here okay and when x is decreasing and x is approaching to its minus infinity my value of y is approaching to its 3 right so option 3 is correct and option 4 is also correct okay so like this we can do these kind of questions see we uh, we can also do these kind of questions by solving it by getting a general solution of it because this is a variable separable form then uh, by using the condition we can find value of constant and we will find a particular solution and after that we need to check if that solution is bounded or not and we need to check about the limits but all this procedure all this process will take a lot of your time and you do not have this much time during the exam okay so it it is better if you do all these questions with this method okay now let's discuss tifr 2017 question in this question we need to tell whether this statement is true or false let yx be a real valued function defined on real line such that y dash is equal to y into 1 minus y with y 0 belongs to closed interval of 0 comma 1 then limit of y x when x is approaching to its infinity is 1 okay we need to check if this statement is correct or not as you can see we have autonomous equation so very first thing which we need to do is to find equilibrium solution so equilibrium solution uh, uh, solutions are y is equal to 0 and 1 okay and my value of y at 0 can be anything between this closed interval okay as we can see this closed interval also include equilibrium solutions 0 and 1 okay so if I take y0 is equal to 0 this is equilibrium solution right so my solution my yx will always be 0 if y at some point 0 is 0 and 0 is my equilibrium solution hence my solution yx will always be 0 right therefore limit of x approach to infinity limit of y when x is approaching to its infinity is 0 hence we get an uh, we got an uh, contradiction therefore the statement given is incorrect is false 
right okay next and we will discuss about tifr 2010 question this is very easy question the solution of the ordinary differential equation dy over dx is equal to y given that y at 0 is 0 is unbounded positive negative or zero okay we can see that this is an autonomous equation so again its equilibrium solution is y is equal to 0 okay and we are given that at x is equal to 0 value of y is 0 okay so my solution will always be 0 because this is equilibrium solution hence my y is 0 answer fourth is correct okay this question is for exercise you can try it by yourself this is msq multiple select questions there can be more than one answer of this question okay and answer of this question will be first second and fourth so try it okay i hope you have learned something from this video thanks for watching